Hey, Mo. Uh, Scott Branson from Raider Nation Radio. Uh, we, we heard from Coach Marinelli and um, um, the rest of the coaching staff about you and, and your relationship with Malik Collins and how you've, you have somebody to kind of bend the ear of. Talk a little bit about how you guys are getting on and uh, what you're learning from him and how you guys are uh, helping each other get better. Yeah, I mean, he's been great. Um, you know, we're actually in the same class, but um, he's got, you know, two more years experience on me, and um, he's been in the system with Marinelli, and it's been really helpful just to, you know, pick his brain and, you know, just, you know, day in and day out. Um, our three technique, you know, runs our defense and um, very crucial part of, you know, what we're trying to do. So um, just have a someone like that. Um, you know, to compete with and, you know, push each other to get better every day is, you know, something that, you know, not many teams have, so. Hi, Maurice. Uh, Lee by Damian from USA Today. I'm just wondering if you have any uh, personal goals for uh, this coming season for yourself? I just want to win a, you know, win some games, win a Super Bowl, and, um, you know, just compete, um, you know, be one of the better teams in the league. And um, with our schedule, you know, we play, you know, some of the best teams this year, you know, the Saints and Chiefs and um, Bucks and all those teams. And, um, you know, we're in a tough division. And, uh, you know, it's just a really exciting time. And I think we got we got a lot better and a lot faster. And, you know, I've been here since, you know, Coach Gruden got here. And just to see the transition um, from year to year um, has just been, you know, insane. Yeah, Maurice, um, since you came in after that slide to the fifth round because of the, the physical and the, the supposed heart issue, never at one time heard you express any kind of bitterness or anger or anything like that. And I'm just curious about your perspective on that. I mean, a lot of people maybe would have been upset. It cost probably cost you a lot of money, and you're playing, and you're still playing, and, and healthy. And I, what's kind of your perspective on that whole situation? Uh, just that, you know, like everything kind of, you know, everything happens for a reason. You just have to make the most of, you know, whatever whatever situation that you're in. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people go through a lot of different things for whatever reason. And, you know, just to be able to, to move forward through that and, you know, battle, you know, any adversity that comes your way, you know, that's what makes the great players great is that, you know, they something bad could happen. They can play hurt. They can play, you know, when they don't feel like it. And, you know, just hardening yourself and, um, your mind and, and your physical game. So, I mean, it was just something that happened, and you know, I feel like uh, you know I've been able to help out some you know other guys that you know have gone through similar situations or have had issues and, and um, that have come up with the combine or you know anything like that. So, I uh, just try to look at it you know as a blessing that you know I'm with the Raiders and you know I end up on a great team and you know something that I love. So. Memories, Anthony from the Fresno B. Just a two-part question. Coming into your third season, I know it's early, but I think you kind of touched on it, but what's the biggest difference you've seen from the defensive line uh, so far? And did you work on anything differently in the offseason to get yourself ready for 2020? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, just thinking more about, uh, you know, my whole game, but, you know, more specifically just pass rush and um, just working on, on that. And, um just, you know, every day just trying to think about a rush, watching rushes, um, working hands, working feet. I think that's been one of the biggest things that I've worked on this offseason. But, you know, our D-line has gotten deep. Like, we have, you know, legitimately, you know, too deep um, in every position. So, I mean, not, like I said, not many teams have that. And, you know, we'll be able to use that, especially in this defense where, you know, Coach Marino wants us running the ball. You know, every play and every play, you know, it's all out. So, you know, be able to rotate, um, you know, kind of like, you know, hockey players, you know, just uh, line in, line out. I feel like that's kind of going to be what we can do. Um, and we got the guys to do that. Hey, Mo, Paul Gutierrez here from, from ESPN. Um, how hard or, or how easy is it to, to focus on the task at hand with so much uncertainty out there? You see the, the testing issues going on league-wide with a lot of other teams. And, and just ha talked about a little bit, if you wouldn't mind, how tough it is or how easy it is to just focus on, on what's going on with football. I mean, that's all, you know, I have going on right now. So, you know, I mean, it's been pretty easy for me just to lock in and, um, you know, 
I'm just here um, working. So, I mean, um, you know, that's all, you know, a lot of us have out here right now. So uh, just working and, um, you know, just studying the game, getting treatment, uh, working out, you know, all those kind of things just get better. Uh, you know, we're behind the eight ball, so a lot of catching up to do, a lot of conditioning, a lot of uh, extra study time, things that you have to do on your own, so. Hey, Mo, uh, Willie Ramirez with Las Vegas AP. Gruden had touched upon a lot of the small intangibles that needed improvement on the defense, such as penalties, turnovers. Last year, team ranked dead last to net penalties and net penalty yards. Um, turnover differential was in the bottom half, allowed the eighth most passing yards. Without exhibition games, how would you see the improvement, number one and number two? Is it is it is it something you're not going to know if you've improved until you actually play a game, or can you see it? Can you feel it? Is, is the team starting to sort of focus on those small intangibles that you really kind of need game time to, to see if it's working? You know, right now, you know, it can be kind of tough because you know, you're not tackling. Um, but, you know, I, I can definitely see those intangibles. we got guys that can make plays. And, um, you know, we're working on, you know, our stripping, our sack fumbles. Um, all those kind of things. So um, I think it's definitely something you're going to have to wait to see in the game. But I think the way that we're playing, the speed that we're playing that, you know, it, you can't help but have good things happen when you're playing as hard as we're playing. So um, that's our identity. That's what we want to have is, you know, guys are going to play hard, play fast, um, run to the ball, sprint, um, just, you know, be some dogs. So, I mean, that's, that's what we're – that's our goal. Uh, that's what we want to show in the first game. So – Mo well, Scott again, question on Allegiant Stadium. What did you think of it, and how was it getting out there and playing, uh, getting suited up and mentally getting prepared that way? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it felt good just to get out there and, and kind of see what it would be like without fans. Um, that's a little bit strange, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're playing the game of football, and, you know, it's the same thing you've been doing since you know, you're a little kid, so... Um, you know, fans or not, I think it, it would be a, a really great atmosphere. Um, you know, they had the music on, but had, you know, some artificial crowd noise that I think they might allow this season. So, um, you know, it just felt great just to get in that, that brand new stadium and, and have it feel like home. And, um, you know, this, this place does definitely feel like home. And uh, I really hope we can do some great things here. Okay, we're all set. Thank you both. Appreciate your time.